If somebody grabs you from behind, like this, and they trap your arms down, and what they're wanting to do is to crush you so they can lift you up. What you want to do is immediately, before they start carrying you off, because they're probably stronger if they can hold you like this, you want to kind of jump up like this, stretch your legs as far out as you can, and bend forward. It makes it really difficult for them to lift you, and much harder. It puts them in an awkward kind of position where they can lift you with their back. Hard to do. And then from here, because you have that good central balance, it's much easier to not trip over yourself. You can step behind them. And then from here, using your elbow, you can kind of twist it and break free. If your arms are up, when you do it, you do the same thing, except that it's a little bit easier to get a hold of them. And you can, you can elbow them if you so wish. Please don't let them get touched. Um, and they fall free again. If they do it from the front and they trap your arms, right away you want to space out like I did, and you want your hands at your hips. So unless you did it, instead of staying like this to get squished, you jump out, bracing against the hip. This keeps him from pulling me out. And then keeping this this hand on his hip, I lift one of my hands free, place it on his neck and push straight down with the forearm. If my arms are free and he does this, place it on his head and push down forcing him to fall. Again, that is um, Just be careful with the eyes. So, if you do that, once again, that's the beauty of this. Very simple, it's also practical. This is the thing you can teach the soldiers, okay? Real good job. So, go ahead, first person. Nice. Yeah. 
Do it again, do it again. <laughs> it's all about leverage, honey. One more time, so this is like video going on to a website? Uh, we have uh, we have a website. Some of it will go on the website. Uh, mostly it'll probably be used for our commercial if we use it. Right. We should hang out for a minute, all of it's super useful stuff. It's great for the kids to have the opportunity to learn some of the real basic, like just keep yourself safe yes. sort of maneuvers. Absolutely. And a lot of what they teach really. Be excited as well. The girls seem happy for the most part, so that's exciting. Yeah. You guys do big event days like this often, or do you guys do event days like this often, or is Once it just year. nice? Yeah. So and kids all over, some hiking, biking. There's a medical prep class, French, uh, Asian cooking. That's where I be. <laughs> we have a yoga. Oh, that's pretty cool too. Yeah. Volleyball, wiffle ball, fencing. Uh, introduction to Japanese, the lives, yeah, tennis. That's amazing. Good variety. Something for everyone that way. Yes, it is. We even have chess. These kids learning how to strategies. And, That's awesome. Yeah. I don't play with him anymore because I get schooled so shamelessly. That's how my son is. Every time, I'm like, oh, someday I'm going to win. Right? <laughs> I'm hanging on to that hope. This is great. Thanks for being here. Of course. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Of course, yeah. Look at Emma. 
Uh, can get back to the map. We need to get everybody finished at first. maneuver out of that the same way. It's all about using their own leverage against them. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, don't freak out. You can't freak out. Strike first. Spread out a little. Okay. I'm gonna go pay attention to these boys. I haven't gotten any of them doing their thing yet. Yeah, uh, we'll use the footage uh, for commercials and that kind of thing. Also for our promotional yeah, clips for other schools. schools. I can probably keep you out of them if you really, really work. want to be. Right. Does work. Right. Why? You did just fine. Right, right, right. There we go.
straight back. Nicely done. Do you need a mom voice there, boss? I got a great mom voice. <laughs> Yes. 